Hello and welcome to Prison Break Part 2 The Return In this mission we're going to be visiting the Isolation Asylum Really nasty looking place Well, I can't imagine asylums are, are particularly nice anywhere But uh, yeah, there's a guy holed up in there that we're going to free I'm going to bust him out In fact, all of the missions taking place inside the prison involve freeing prisoners which I guess kind of makes sense. You wouldn't expect prisons to be a natural environment to go to if you're looking for the latest weapons or tech. And so that's not why we're going there, although we will get some useful items out of it, still. As you'll see. We're not heading to the prison just yet though, uh, because there's one last ATM in the CBD and uh, we're going to hack it first because it's, it's the last one in the CBD that we haven't uh, hacked yet and that also makes it the last one in the game as well so let's get it working for us immediately and not hang about saves us having to get it later and then we'll head over there to the prison we're going to go through a different route than the uh, where we took last time. The last time we took the side door, uh, which was over on the left hand side uh, of the prison, and uh, this time we're going to head towards the main entrance, which is up a road ramp. Uh, but instead of going up the ramp, we'll go around to the right hand side and uh, go up the stairs because there's a zip line that we can use. Uh, which will take us right uh, to the isolation ward. And uh, that's the most direct and easiest route into that area. So there's the main entrance and the road ramp. And this is where we're heading to. Now you can see how much faster the infiltrator is compared to the other agents. He's uh, He's a speedy one, taking off miles ahead, like Mo Farah. And if you don't know who Mo Farah is, well he just won the 10,000 meter race in the Olympics for Britain for the second time in a row. Go on Mo, you legend. So uh, I'm going to start calling Agent 4 Mo in his honour from now on. Uh, Mo just has to wait there a moment because we need to hardwire this machine and we need the soldier to do that. Who's picking up the rear? Uh, you need to hardwire this machine uh, because it will cut power to the cameras here, but more importantly, it will cut power to the zip line that we're going to use. Yeah, you don't want the zip line to be powered when you try and slide down it because it would be bad. If you don't believe me, Go ahead and try it, and see what happens. I'll wait. Off you go. Back. Yeah, wasn't good, was it? So, uh, let's go down, and, uh, we just need to go through this shaft, which is handily right next to the zipline. I'm not sure why they put a shaft right next to a zipline. Makes it kind of easy to break into a prison. So, um, whoever designed this prison has, uh, has got some faults, I think, in their architecture. Uh, not least because there is also a road which just hangs off into space and doesn't go anywhere, which is another kind of strange architectural plan. But, um, never mind. Helps us, though, doesn't it? And here we can turn off the cameras. Where we're going? with this handy little control panel here and uh, I'll keep three of my agents hang back here next to this wall just hugging the wall because we don't need them for this next part we just need the infiltrator ah, Sprint Legs version 1 has finished researching but Mo doesn't need Sprint Legs version 1 does he? He's fast enough plus he also has Sprint Legs version 2 because we picked that up in the previous mission so um yeah. I guess I just couldn't be bothered to, to stop researching it. It's done now anyway, it's done. 
Uh, yeah, be mindful of the tank here. Don't get spotted in this area or the tank will activate. So um, you can take out the two guards, it's probably the easiest thing to do. I took out one of them, but I uh, just left the other because he was getting a little bit close to that tank for my liking. Um, so I've just gone for it and broken the prisoner out and I come within a whisker of getting spotted here. I think the agent was, was actually facing towards me when I came out of the building, but uh, thankfully I was far enough away, didn't get spotted. So uh, I was cutting it a little bit close there, but sometimes you just gotta grab the bull by the horns, don't you? So anyway, that's done. Uh, let's get out of here. Now, we can't obviously go back the way we came, uh, but at the end of this space road, <laughs> Uh, there is another zip line that we can use. It won't take us out of the prison altogether, it will take us to the main entrance. So there's a little bit more sneaking to do. So we're near to the main entrance, where we could head over to the side door and head out that way like we did in the previous mission. But, um, that's not my favourite route. Actually, I prefer the more direct option of just going for the main entrance and getting out that way. It's closer and there's plenty of cover that we can use uh, over to the, the right hand side because the, the patrol will, uh, as you'll see, they'll stop in front of this wall here uh, they won't go right to the end so we can we can hug the end wall and, and sneak past them that way. I'm gonna send out the hacker Give Mo a well-deserved rest, because I've been using him an awful lot, and uh, I'll give somebody else a chance to shine this time. When the guards turn away, you can dispatch them fairly easily. So, bang bang, just take out these two guards. Remember to immediately put Cloak back on once you decloak, which you will once you assassinate somebody. And then just have him open the gate. The gate will stay open for a while. So we can just head around here and straight out the gates. A uh, hacker leads the way. And the rest of them, yeah, fuck it. Let's just run. Run! And quickly get away before the camera. Gives us too much bother. And woohoo, we've got a few items. Uh, so I said before that the prison wasn't the place to go for some of the latest tech, but that clearly was a mistake. And because we have got the Super Particle Accelerator, which was one of the most uh, high technology weapons or augmentations. I think it's a weapon mod uh, that you can get. And once you get that, then there's, well, there's nothing really to better it. But it will take a lot of research. Now, we didn't actually pick it up inside the prison. It was one of the rewards that we get uh, from busting the guy out, because I think he's some uh, special technology dude. So, uh, so there you go. But, anyway, uh, that's the mission done. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, probably, definitely more straightforward than the previous mission, because uh, we didn't have as far to go inside the prison this time as in the previous one. But the most challenging mission is still ahead. So, uh, anyway, let's get researching the Super Particle Accelerator. It will create an awful lot of damage for any laser weapon that it's attached to. And we've got some skill points to spend. Uh, pack Mule. Uh, yes, I go for Pack Mule for the hacker. And that gives him the maximum amount of items he can carry, which is five. And... Master Assassin. Finish that skill off as well. Because that will make the Infiltrator even faster. And I don't think I spend anything else for anyone else. So what shall I give the hacker today? Any suggestions? What should I go for? Uh, shield Recharger, maybe? That seems like a good one. Or Shield Booster. Would that be better? I know. Attack drones. Yes. Why the hell not? I mean, he's got extra drones now from his skill, so if we ever have to use them, 
that will come in handy. Let's do it. Okay, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. If you liked, please click like. I'll see you in the next video for the final part of Prison Break.